Hey, this is Mike. This is a really awesome Grand Cherokee. It's a 2014 Jeep Grand Cherokee in granite. Now this is the Overland package and has a lot of stuff to really appreciate and use on this one. It looks really sharp with the 20 inch wheels. And uh, it has the Xenon projector headlights and fog lights. I'm going to go ahead and start it up. That's one of the features it has is remote start. And I don't know if you can see this, but it has a really cool LED accent there around the um, headlights. It's like a running light. I don't know if you can see that, but it looks pretty cool. I wish it was nighttime so I could show you what it looks like at night. Now this one has the towing hooks as well as see that little black bubble there that is a uh, radar sensor for the adaptive cruise control so pretty cool I'll show you the controls inside but it has the panoramic sunroof but yeah let's go ahead and check it out really nice 20 inch wheels they're not overly flashy or anything but they just look really classy I guess you can say this vehicle is real classy so right now, um, vehicle's locked, but let me just go ahead and start back here because it does have the automatic lift gate. Before I do that, you can see it has the backup sensors here. It has the, the factory trailer hitch with the, the four-way and seven-way plugs. Here's the backup camera lens. It is a four-wheel drive, but let me go ahead and open up the lift gate. And I use the key to do that. This is the key fob here. Now from now on I'm just going to put the key in my pocket and it's going to stay there. Don't really need the key too much to interact with the vehicle, only for certain things. Now here's the back of the cargo area. You see it has a subwoofer, has a power supply, has a cargo net tie downs there and on the on four corners here. You do have a rechargeable flashlight back here. And it's got some little ramps right here. These, these rails for when you're you know trying to protect the carpet when you're putting stuff back here. Now I highly recommend buying a, a Grand Cherokee um, Mopar accessory cargo mat that go back here to really protect the back and it's just really durable and, and it looks good too. Now under here, this lifts up. You've got your full size spare tire with your tools and everything, but you also have these bins that come out and you can Put stuff in them and you can dump them throw them back in there and uh they're really durable I, they feel like a polypropylene or something but that's a really neat feature that i like do you have the sun shade as well privacy shade now i'm going to go ahead and close the tailgate here now it beeps at you a few times before it comes down now if something were to get in the way like say my hand then it just kind of senses that and goes back up now you still have to be concerned about fingers especially with children here on the edge because once it reaches a certain point it does kind of close uh, which I'll show you and it could pinch your fingers so yeah if you're I mean if you were to a small child were to get their fingers in there it might pinch your fingers so it's still want to be careful with it so it's still locked up and I have the key in my pocket, so I'm going to go ahead and just put my hand here, and it unlocks the doors. I can relock the doors here if I wanted to, but I'm going to go ahead and unlock them again. Start back here. Here's the inside of the back door. It has a bottle holder and a speaker, and you do have the uh, wood grain here. Turn my phone off and what I'm what I'm getting at is back here on the in the back you don't there's no skimping on style and and functionality for the back seat passengers because I mean you have the bottle holder you got the wood grain you have the soft uh, stitching here and the back seats are also heated too the perforated leather and um, you got the net pocket there 
Let me show you here. There's a cup holders, armrest. Your heat to seat controls are down here. You also have a 115 volt, uh, 150 watt power supply, as well as USB chargers here. These seats do fold down pretty easy just by lifting this button, this lever up. They fold down pretty flat, and this here's where your latch anchors are for your child seat. Don't want to use those, you want to use these. So this is a 60-40 split to accommodate, you know, a combination of passengers and cargo area. Now we do have the blind spot monitoring system, which is this little triangle right here that will light up when there's a car in your blind spot. There's radar sensors on the side of this vehicle right around in here to where if there's a car, while you're driving on, on the highway, there's a car in your blind spot, it'll kind of light up. And if you put your blinker on, it'll actually give you an auto audible alert. So it's pretty neat. Here is the inside of the driver's door and has a little bit more controls as you would expect in the front. You do have a tweeter speaker here, wood grade and trim. Here's your door locks, window controls, as well as your side mirror controls. Now it also does have the power folding side mirrors, so you can actually push that and fold the, the side mirrors in and out, which is a pretty cool feature. You have your presets for your power seat, which is here. You do have lumbar support, and it adjusts um, in and out and up and down, which is pretty cool. You've got your Overland badging there in the seats. Do you have automatic headlights? Yeah, that Jeep there. So we're gonna go ahead and hop in. Now, since I use the, rem the remote start, I still have to put my foot on the brake, or I still have to push the button. In order to start it without the remote, you put your foot on the brake and then push the button. So I'm gonna turn the fan down a little bit. So that's going to cause a problem and the, the music down the fan down it is kind of warm so I'm going to leave the air conditioner on so hopefully it won't interfere with the camera okay so here's the steering wheel and lots and lots of buttons on it and it is a leather wrap steering wheel with stitching here around there it's very comfortable now at the very top you've got a wood grain a wood uh, handle there now it's very grippy it has like a coating on it or something to where you can really grip the steering wheel really good it's more grip it's grippier than the uh, the leather so it looks kind of slick because it's shiny but it's actually very grippy now it's a a heated steering wheel and this is actually a real wood. It does have like a coating on it, but it is real wood, just like all the wood here you see. It's all real, real stuff. Very comfortable steering wheel. So let's go ahead and start with the back of the steering wheel. On the back here, you can see these little silver things sticking up. Those are the paddle shifters. And you can shift up and down with those paddle shifters. And it does have an eight speed transmission, so there's a lot of gears to go through. And, um, so, if, you know, especially if you're going down a hill, a steep grade, you need to downshift, you know, it's real easily done. Now, just below that, I don't know if you can see right here, just below the paddle shifters is a little toggle switch. And the one on the right is your volume. So I can adjust the volume there. And on the left side is I can change the stations. It's a toggle switch. So I can change the station. And then I can turn the volume back down. So there's a, just right there. There's a lot of features on the steering wheel um, to keep your hands on the wheel while you're driving. Another thing to keep your hands on the wheel while you're driving is the Bluetooth system. Uh, here's where you would once you pair your Bluetooth phone with the system, you can answer the phone. You can hang up. Uh, it does have voice recognition to where you can push a button and say call so and so. Somebody that's in your phone book on your phone, you can say call Bob, and it'll just go ahead and call him and you you know it's completely hands-free so while you're driving on the road you can call people you can change the stations you can adjust the climate control lots of stuff with the voice recognition and you know very very cool features there 
takes a little getting used to on the voice recognition on your part as well as the vehicle because it does adapt to your voice so your cruise controls on this side you do have to make sure it's turned on it'll say cruise control ready and then you can go ahead and set it but it works like any other cruise control and right below here that ties in with the two cruise control is your adaptive cruise control now once you turn on adaptive cruise control you can set your distance from the car in front of you so let's say you're going on the highway and the speed limit 70 miles an hour well you're right behind the person that's going 70 and you just go ahead and set your cruise on 70 so you're going the same speed but you can set a distance say you know further away or closer to them and it will keep you at a, at a safe distance so and how adaptive cruise control works is let's say there's a little bit of a slight congestion ahead the car in front of you might slow down to say 50 miles an hour briefly for a little while and then go back up to 70 well you don't have to disengage your cruise control to do that the the car will sense the car slowing down in front of you and match their speed and distance until they resume back to 70 and then you know you'll go back to up to your normal your range um, so really cool feature and there's a little bit more to that uh, that feature you also have um, to where you it'll keep you crash mitigation basically um, if, if there's a if the vehicle senses with the radar system an imminent crash it will attempt to slow you down as best possible there's lots of other safety feature features with that and um, you know I can go in you know talk about that for a long long time but you know this vehicle has a lot of cool features on it so just keep that in mind those are different features I'm gonna have a list of all the features this vehicle has in the description so just kind of scroll through there if you have any questions on any of the features let me know and I'll try my best to describe them okay so on this side these is okay and the arrows here that corresponds with the uh, screen here in the middle of the, the dash now right now it just looks like a gauge but I'm going to show you I'm going to push it left so you can see it's actually a screen in the middle you can see it looks like a gauge and I can change it to just a big number speedometer and I'm going to push the down button and I'm going to scroll through a menu system here and like right here is called is vehicle info right now it's showing you this the tire pressure but you can also go through and see different temperatures and pressures and um, on the vehicle it's not stuff that you necessarily want to keep an eye on all the time but you know it's there if you need it now if the temperature or pressure goes hot too high or out of, out of specifications it will alert you especially the tire pressure so if you get, your tire gets low or um, you know, too high or too low tire pressure will alert you and tell you exactly which tire to, to check so I'm going to keep scrolling down and this is where your your four-wheel drive information will be um, it does have a quadrajack 2 four-wheel drive system and which is very advanced and I can talk about that for a long time air suspension um, it does have air suspension where you lift the vehicle up and put it back down I uh, don't know if I have time to, to demonstrate all that stuff in this video, but I'll just you know, show you what this one has. I'm scrolling through the menu just so you can get an idea of what's on here. And it is customizable. You can put different information. Like as you can see, it has the temperature and the compass here on the top corners. But you can also put stuff on the bottom corners. You can change the stuff on the top. So pretty cool stuff. So I'm going to go back to there. All right, so you can see it's got stitching here on the dash and the dash is soft to the touch and non-reflective, so it's pretty cool. Now here is, um, let me aim these air vents away from the camera. This is the 8.4 Uconnect AN. Um, lots of features here. Here's the icons here at the bottom. I'm gonna start with radio, which is already on. It does have AM, FM. It also has satellite radio which is on right now and you get that with the vehicle for the first year free so after that you would have to pay for it but it's a pretty neat feature so media this is where you would um, play stuff off of a USB or auxiliary input or the CD player which it does have and I'll show you in a few minutes um, it also you can also play stuff off the SD card and the Bluetooth wirelessly through Bluetooth in here is where you would uh, interact with your media 
controls um, it does have ventilated seats which I'm going to go ahead and put on high because it's kind of warm and it, uh, this is where you can turn your heated steering wheel heated seat ventilated seats for your driver and passenger and also uh, it does have an auto dim rear view mirror which you can turn on and off there climate this is where you would adjust your temperatures and um, and where you want the air to blow stuff like that air conditioner heater things of that such okay navigation this is a Garmin system um, you can view the map and just kind of see where you're at but there's uh, I mean, lots of features here but I'm going to just briefly show you say you can um, set your home address and you say go, hit go home and you, it'll tell you anywhere you can be anywhere in the United States and hit go home and it'll tell you how to get home address you can put in a specific address and it'll take you to that address and um, and it's pretty neat there's you know there's different you can put in uh, coordinates and stuff like that now okay we'll, we'll, I'll show you some other stuff here in a minute on that but um, here's your phone once you pair your phone your phone book will show up in here as well as uh, recent calls and also your favorites along the top and um, you can make calls using you can once you have a phone paired you have a, a keypad here and all that stuff okay so here's your apps you can download apps and have different ones there's lots of ones already on here um, now some of them do use your mobile data so you want to be aware of that but um, one of them which inter interacts with your navigation and also your satellite is Travelink. One of the coolest things is it's got weather and movie listings, but one of the coolest things here for traveling is uh, fuel prices. So, like, say it can it searches the cert fuel prices, and uh, you can search, you can sort them by price, you can sort them by distance, and let's say you want to choose this this uh, gas station here, it tells you exactly where to go what the address is, what the phone number, you can go ahead and call them once your phone's paired, you can hit go now and it'll take you there using the navigation. Really cool um, feature there. And uh, weather, three to six hours, so a pretty cool feature. But yeah, these are the icons here at the bottom. Tons of things you can do, you can customize a lot of stuff, but I'm gonna go ahead and go back to radio. You've got a clock here at the top, temperature, uh, the compass all that stuff here at the top now you have you can turn the screen off if it's distracting you and at nighttime it will dim so it's not so bright so down here you've got some extra buttons uh, climate control buttons you got a volume just like a normal radio you've got you know you turn to certain stations there you can turn your fan up and down temperatures and all that good stuff now since this one has a lot of features here this is the crash mitigation uh, you can turn that off like I was telling you before right here the parking sensors in the back which I'm going to go ahead and show you in a second um, you can turn those off because it will beep if you get close to something uh, trash control you can turn that off here there's your inputs for your radio USB auxiliary and SD card inputs there's a power supply there 12 volt this closes like that now there's your shifter it's an 8 speed electronic shifter and I'm going to go ahead and put it in reverse like so now my parking sensors have activated you can see it's showing that there is something behind me and it's not very far away so I don't need to you know kind of gives you levels of uh, how far something is and if it's on the right or left side here's the backup camera and you can see there's the vehicle there that it's talking about and saying hey if you keep backing up uh, you're going to get closer and closer and maybe even hit whatever the, whatever's behind you. Now you can see there's the back bumper. There's the car. There, all the, it goes up all the way up to the sky. So it gives you a really good view. There's other vehicles around that one. It gives a really good view of behind you. And it's very clear. Nice big 8-inch eight, eight screen too. And uh, those lines there are moving. The reason why is because I'm turning the steering wheel. And as you turn the steering wheel, it gives you an estimated trajectory of like which way you're going to be backing up to and that way you don't get uh is disoriented trying to see figure out which way you're going looking forward and driving backwards you know looking at the screen there now if we continue down there's neutral the screen of course goes off because i'm not in reverse anymore 
and now I'll put it in drive. Now you can see what gear you're in up here as well. So I'm going to go down one more time and it's going to put me in sport mode. And um, sport mode is basically it turns eco off. Eco is where you um, get better you know, gas mileage and stuff. But it gives you more aggressive driving behavior with the engine and transmission and all that good stuff. Now in order to put it back in drive you go down again and it'll put it back in drive. So when I switch I go like that to drive and down to sport stuff like that so it's not like you go back up because that will put you in neutral there's some cup holders there I'm gonna go ahead and put it in park for forget okay now here's your four drive controls it just have like a dial there it has a dial and you know I can raise and lower the vehicle here and I can also change to specific settings now automatic is pretty darn good for most situations but if you're going specifically in rock or mud or sand or snow, you can select those options and then that way it knows more specifically what you're trying to deal with. Four-wheel drive low is right there. And that's for some serious off-roading. Now this there's a downhill descent button. Now that button is only is not for dry surfaces. It's only for loose gravel or mud or whatever going down a hill. Here's your armrest. Now this lifts up. And inside here is your CD player which is, seems like an odd place to put it but they, that's where they're putting it now and um, because I think they're kind of phasing out with the CD players it's like an, it's an option basically you do have a power supply and a little storage pocket there's your glove compartment pretty good size and it is felt lined you have a little compartment up there for your owner's manual and there's your auto dimming mirror and you also have auto dimming headlights as well up here you have a place to put your sunglasses you can open and close your tailgate there you can turn the lights on that's more like a spotlight or a reading light there's more like a flood light and uh, here's your garage door controls here now we've got a huge panoramic sunroof which is closed but I'm gonna go ahead and open up this shade just to kind of give you an idea now the first press will bring it back to halfway and then you push it again and then it opens up all the way you see that's pretty good size now I can go I can vent it just like a normal sunroof like that or I can open it like so and that's where it opens the back part doesn't really open it's just the front part And then if I want to close the shade, I can just push that. Just one time, I'll go all the way to the front. There's a view out the back. Really high-end vehicle, has a lot of features, very comfortable and easy to use once you get used to you know where everything is it's not I know it seems overwhelming if you're not familiar with this vehicle there's a lot of features but um, it is pretty easy to use and everything's well placed let's take a look under the hood This one has the 3.6 liter V6. There's plenty of room under here. Everything's well designed and well placed. The yellow is a color coded system, and the yellow is what the things that you would, you know, you can check yourself. Which, if you get your vehicle maintained regularly, the, the uh, your dealership will take care of take care of you and make sure everything's good. Alrighty, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, the vehicle has a lot of features I'm, I might have skipped over. Uh, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure I did skip over a lot. So if you have any questions, just let me know. My phone number and email address will be in the description. You can also leave comments. See you next time.